The Republican presidential field is getting bigger with Miami Mayor Francis Suarez announcing a run Thursday. CBS News' Musadiq Badar has more on the mayor's 2024 bid. Miami Mayor Francis Suarez is the 11th Republican candidate to join the 2024 presidential race. The 45-year-old Cuban-American announced his candidacy in a video on Twitter Thursday morning. Suarez is the only Latino GOP presidential candidate in this race and will be making a major speech here at the Reagan Presidential Library Thursday evening. Suarez has said that he can bring new voters to the Republican Party, young voters. He has also said that he can help the Republican Party expand their outreach with Latino voters. Suarez is expected to lay out his vision for the future of the country at this speech here tonight. He is a popular mayor in Miami, where he was reelected with nearly 80 percent of the vote in 2021. Suarez is also the head of the U.S. Conference of Mayors. He enters a crowded field of GOP contenders vying to take on President Joe Biden in 2024. A super PAC supporting Suarez's candidacy also launched a digital ad this week that will be airing in the early primary states of Iowa, New Hampshire, South Carolina and Nevada. But it remains to be seen whether Mayor Suarez can meet the RNC's criteria for polling and fundraising to qualify for the first primary debate in August. Robert. Musadiq Badar, thank you. For more on this announcement, CBS News political director Finn Gomez joins us. Finn, what is the Miami mayor doing here? It's pretty late in the game, but he's getting in. Uh, he says it's a generational uh, difference that he's trying to set. He's 45 years old, uh, the front runner in this race, uh, early, uh, the early front runner in this race. Former President Donald Trump is, of course, 77, 77 years old. He's also the first Latino uh, a candidate to enter the race. He said that he's looking to expand the field. Uh, I think it's interesting to note also, Bob, that uh, former uh, senior White House advisor and someone who still talks to the pre former president often, Kellyanne Conway, just a few weeks back, was uh, sort of Sherpa him uh, around, shepherding him around D.C., and it had it told Politico that he would be a, a top of her list for a vice presidential pick. So I think it's interesting that he's getting into the race, uh, but it's, uh, it's a crowded field. They're now 11 by CBS's count. Ben Gomez, thank you very much.